Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Ivy's Little Space. Diwali is the festival of light. It symbolizes the victory of light over darkness, knowledge over ignorance, good over evil. So today I'm going to share my knowledge of making our own candles which would lit up our homes as well as our lives. So today we are going to learn how to make this wonderful flower candles. This mini candles are my favorite. This is another one. Without further ado, let's get started. We are going to start with this purplish rose candle. We need to cut this waxes into small pieces so that it is easy to melt. For melting, we need to use double boiler method and the flame should always be lower and we need to keep stirring. For colouring, you can use crayons. Here I have used one purple crayon and half pink crayon to give the shade. We need to keep stirring till the crayons melt. Once the wax is melted, for fragrance you can use essential oils. Here I have used 8 to 10 drops of water lily and cherry magnolia. Now we need to place the wick properly into the silicon mold and once it is placed we need to just fold it and place the silicon mold so that we can pour the melted wax in it. The wick need to be supported by something so that it doesn't drown into the melted wax. Pour the melted wax carefully as it is hot. And please pardon the mess. It takes approximately 2 hours to set. And after 2 to 2.5 hours, we need to take off the candle from the silicon molds. We need to be careful while taking it out. And once it is done, then our purplish rose candles are ready to light up our houses. Now we are going to make peachy rose candle. The methods are pretty much similar. Here only for colouring we are adding one red crayon and half pink crayon. After setting it for 2 hours, the peachy rose candles are ready. Now we are going to make my favorite one, cute mini flower candles. I am using the same mixture which I have used for the peachy rose candles. I am pouring it with the help of a spoon into the silicon molds. As these candles are smaller in size, so it takes lesser time to set. These candles take about one hour to set. After an hour, we need to take off these candles from this silicon molds. As these molds do not have the convenience to place the wick, so we need to make a hole inside the candle using a stick. Here I am using a steel stick. You can use a wooden one. Inside the hole, we need to place the wick and if there is any extra wick, then we need to cut it off. And once it is done, then our mini flower candles are ready. Mm -hmm. 
In the similar manner, we are completing all the other mini candles. Did you like the candles? Please let me know in my comment section. Now we are going to make scented dahlia candle. These are my mother's favorite. For fragrance, I have used few drops of lavender oil and rose oil. So now we need to pour this melted wax inside the silicon molds and keep it for one to one and a half hour. And once it is set, we need to take it off. And here also we need to make a hole in order to place the wick. In a similar manner, we are going to make a hole using a still stick and place the wick inside it. And once it is done, then our scented dahlia candles are ready. So please let me know which one is your favorite and which one you are going to make this Diwali. Wishing everyone a very happy Diwali in advance. And if you like this video, then please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.